Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today I would like to show you how to prepare your contacts in your custom spreadsheet and how to get them imported into Command. As you can see on your screen, we're in Command and on the left hand side, we'll go to our Contacts tab right here, second one down. There's an Import button that will be located on your top right, right here. This is to add multiple contacts at a time into your Command database. You do have an option for the template, the actual command template that you can download here. But if you have your own spreadsheet of contacts, I'll show you how to prepare that now to actually use that to import with. So go ahead, open your file. And as you can see here, we do have headers across the top. That is one thing that is required. You need to have the headers for your columns right here in the first row. It can only be one row of headers like this, and there cannot be any rows above this, like blank rows. You need to make sure this is in row one to be for the title for your columns right here, your headers. And we do have the first name and last name. You can include the first and last name in the same column if you would like. Then we just have our phone number here. You can add more than one phone number you would just probably want to go ahead and make sure that you specify this is the primary if you have more than one, just so you'll know when you are mapping these into command. You can also have additional columns that specify whether this is a work or personal phone number or other, but you can keep it really simple like this as well and just have the one column for one phone number for the contacts. Also, specific dates like home anniversary or their birthday, you can also include these in your custom file. Just make sure that the date does include the month, day, and year. It can be in military style where the, it actually is day, month, and year. It can be written out like January 1, 2024, or it can be in this format that you see here on your screen. Any of those three will work. It just needs to definitely have all three pieces of information, month, day, and year. For the email, you would put your emails here. It's very similar to the phone number. If you have more than one email, you can add an additional column where you can mark it as a personal work or other, but it's not required. If you have more than one, you can also go ahead and change your header to say which one is primary and which one is additional, as that will help you when you go to map these into command. But again, you can just have the one column for an email if you just have one email per contact. As far as physical or mailing address goes, you'll see that we have our spaced out into different columns, address line one, two, city, state, zip, and country. It's okay if it's all in one column. If it is the full address, it will still import that way. Just to make it super easy, we just went ahead and kept it separate like this so that we're sure that it will go into every single field correctly. Just like with the emails and the phone numbers, if you have more than one address, you can always add an additional column just like so, and specify the type, if you would like, home, work, personal, or other. Again, this is not required though. And tags. Recommend adding your tags to your contact spreadsheet before importing them. That is a great way to be able to organize your contacts. Also, you want to be able to locate these contacts within your database if for some reason there was an error in the import, you will want to be able to recall every single contact that was here on this file. So we recommend keeping a bulk tag like the import with the date on it, at least to apply to all of your contacts on this file. That way you can always go back and find them in your database. With the tags, just make sure that you have them separated by comma, space, after each tag. So as we have them here, this will actually create three tags for this one contact when they're imported. A buyer tag, 
family tag, and then the import tag. Source is another column you can use. It is optional. Actually, everything I'm showing you here on this spreadsheet is optional. As long as your contact has a first name, it will import. So all of these additional col columns, it's okay if you don't have that information. You do not need to include those columns on your spreadsheet. The information can be added later directly into command. So source is where you got the contact from. We just included that on our spreadsheet. And you can also add things like notes where you can type these in. It will include up to 10,000 characters of notes if you'd like to add those. You can also add additional columns like maybe their social platforms, links to their social profiles, or even um, things like their legal name or a description, maybe their work name, things like that, the company they work for. Just some additional suggestions, but again, none of those are required. And so now that you're done with your form, also, just FYI, if you have your contacts in another database or another file, you can copy and paste them into each column if that would make it easier. So just know that you can do that too. When you're done, go ahead and save. We recommend when you go to save as or to save your file, make sure that when you're doing that, you're actually choosing the type of file to be comma delimited right here. It's called a CSV file comma separated value, and it says comma delimited to the side. You'll notice there's other files listed here that say comma delimited, but this is the basic one you're looking for right here. You just want to make sure it's in that format when you go to save it. And now that we're done with our file, you'll see here as we're back on command that you can hit browse to go ahead and choose your file. You can drop it there as well if you'd like to but we'll go ahead and choose it from our files. It says that we have uploaded that one before. Give me one second. We're just going to change the name. All right, let's try again. There we go. Go ahead and grab that file. Now do know that there are some import rules here that are listed that you can always check out along with a helpful link right down here at the bottom if you have any more questions or you'd like to check that out. You can hit continue. This is the import wizard. It will help you map your columns from your spreadsheet, your CSV file, to match the command files on the contact profile. So you can choose to skip any columns that you've left blank or to show them. And so on the left, you'll see the column headers that you had in row one, and we'll just go ahead and match them with the columns within command. So first name would be to first name, last name would be last name, the phone number, we'll just scroll down here and grab primary phone, and, you, and so on. So you would just do that for each one of your columns that you had created just to make sure that it does map correctly. And you can do as many of these as you would like. We can also skip these as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and skip just for the sake of demonstration but you see how you would actually go ahead and map out and make sure that your columns from your spreadsheet match the columns within command and hit continue. It will go ahead and show your columns and your contacts on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, it will show all of that contact information that you did go ahead and map. Now, since we skipped ours and did not map every single one, you can see that the information is not pulling in. So as long as you took the time and mapped out every single column, that will be go that will go ahead and be imported, and you can click Finalize Import. It lets you know that due to the size of your file, it may take a little bit. So you can just return to Contacts, 
If you're working with a larger database, it may take a few moments. Go ahead and hit the refresh on your browser. You should get a notification that your contact import has been imported. If it did fail to import, it will let you know here that your contact import failed or maybe some of them failed. And you can always click here to download the log and view the reasons why those contacts failed to download. The reasons will be listed in the columns all the way to the right, and that way you can make adjustments on your spreadsheet and try to re-import them again. If you have any questions about this process, you can always reach out to us at support at Thanks for watching.